What's up guys, I'm Paul and welcome to the e-commerce gold YouTube channel. So Shopify recently released their OS 2.0 which includes a new selection of themes and theme customization options and with this new theme customizer comes a new way of creating pages for collections and it is so much better and so much easier to do than the old way of doing it. So in this video I'm going to go through and show you exactly how to do it so you can go and set this up on your new store if you're using a Shopify OS 2.0 theme. So let's get started. So as I said in the new OS 2.0 it's so much easier to create a page of collections and I'm going to show you a few different options you can do. The first one is if you want to create a page listing all of your collections. This is super easy to do. All you do is go into your navigation, click on your main navigation menu and what we're going to do is going to add a new item to the menu, click under the link options, click on collections, all collections. You can change the title if you want to but I'm just going to stick with all collections click on add, click save menu and then if we go to the front end of our store, refresh this, you'll see all collections comes up in the main menu, click on that and it shows you all of your collections. Super simple if you want to do all of your collections but what if you just want to show a few collections? Well there's a new way of doing it and it is absolutely brilliant, I'm really liking it. So if you go back into our online store, click on customize, it'll bring up the new theme customizer. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on the drop down menu at the top, we're going to click on pages and we're going to create a new template. Now for this I'm going to call this watches because well everything's jewel related on this channel and we're going to base this on the default page. So we're going to create that template and you'll see we have a new template we can work from and with the new OS 2.0 you can add sections to individual pages and this is where it just becomes so much easier. So what we're going to do is going to click add section and we're going to choose the collection list and you'll see you can manually choose the collections you want. So for this I'm going to go through and select all my watch collections. So we're going to select collection, I'm going to go for automatic watches for that one, click on select, go back, number two, going to choose digital watches for that one, select and finally we're going to choose our quartz watches and click on select, go back, there you go we've done that if you want to remove the header what you can do is just click on that and delete that and it will hide that header for you. If you want to remove the men's header at the top just click on the hide option there and that will remove that one for you. Depends if you want the header on the page or not but once you're happy with the collections you've selected click on save and it's created a template for this page. So then if we go back into our Shopify dashboard, go into pages we're going to create a new page so we click on add page and we're just going to call this watches and then when you're choosing a template for this page you'll see we've got the theme template. If you click on the drop down menu you'll see watches is available so if you click on that click save, we've now created that page for watches, we just need to add it to our navigation menu, so if we go into main menu, add an item, under the link options we're going to search under pages and you'll see that watches has now become available. Click on that, add and then save this menu. Then if we go back into the front end of our site, refresh it, you'll see that watches has come available and if we click on that we can see all of our collections that are available on the watches. So if you click on automatic watches you can see the products that are available in there. Really easy to do this, much easier than it used to be with having to copy and paste the code over, so much easier to do. And you can also duplicate this template as well so you can use it for different collections and I'll show you how to do that. So if we go into our online store again, click on customize, what we're going to do is click on the drop down menu, go into pages, we're going to create a template but we're going to base this one on the watches page that we just created and I'm going to do this one for signet rings. As you can see everything's jewel related when I do these uh, demos because well, I've been in the jewel trade for many many years. So we're going to create the template for this one and as you can see it's based off the old template. So what we're going to do is going to go in and we're going to change these collections going to change them to the ring ones, so we're going to go for gold signet rings, select that one, change this one to stone set signet rings and the final one is going to be silver signet rings. Select, save that one, then we're going to go back into our 
dashboard and we're basically going to repeat the process. Um, what we're going to do is going to create a new page and we're going to call this one Signet Rings and we're going to choose the default template and as you can see Signet Rings has now become available. Click on that option and click on save. And then all you've got to do is add that to the navigation menu. Now what you may need to do when you come into this is you may need to refresh it because it takes a little bit of time for that page to actually become available when you're choosing the item in your menu. I'll see if it happens now. So if we go into main menu, click on add menu item, pages, Signet rings has become available, but sometimes it's there's a little bit of a delay if you try and do it too quickly, it might not appear, so you might have to refresh things. But if we just click on Signet rings, click add and then save that menu, go back into the front end of our site, refresh it and then if we click on signet rings you can see all the signet ring collections become available. As I say it's so much easier to do this now with the new templates, they are just so much easier to use. But what if you actually want to add a page in front of this? Well this is where you need to do a little bit of a workaround because as we know with Shopify it doesn't allow you to create sub collections, you kind of have to do workarounds. Unfortunately with the new iOS 2.0 there is a workaround to be able to do this. So what I want to do is I want to create a page where I'm going to be able to link to the watches page and the signet rings page. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So if we go back into the main menu, go into the online store and click on customize, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new template. And to do that we're going to click on the menu again and we're going to create a new template for the pages. But this one I want to do this off the default page because we're going to be using a different block. So we're going to call this accessories, I really hope I've spelt that wrong right. Click on create template and it'll bring up a new template. And what we're going to do with this one, the section we're actually going to use is the multi-column section. So if we click on multi-column, you can see it adds multiple columns. It's pretty self-explanatory to be honest, but it is a really good option to create a page to link to the collection pages, if that makes sense. Now you'll notice that it brings up a button. If you want to get rid of this, click on multi-column and where it says button label, just select that and delete it and it will remove that option. Basically with anything in the new OS 2.0, if you don't want it to display, just leave the option blank and it just won't display on the front end of your site. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to edit these columns. And what we're going to do is going to select an image, we're going to put signet rings first, click on that one and select. If we don't want the heading, once again, just delete it. If you don't want the text, just delete that option. But what we're going to do is we're going to add a link and we're going to create a link to the page that we just created, just like you would in your navigation menu. So we're going to select pages and we're going to select signet rings and we're just going to add a label to it saying signet rings. And as you can see it adds that option there. Now the only real downside with this one is you can't make the picture clickable at the moment. For some reason Shopify haven't allowed that. I'm hoping it'll be something they add in the future but it's still better than nothing. So that's the one column we've added. If we come out of this one, going to do a second one for the watches. So we'll select the watches. I like that picture there. Once again, going to remove the headings and the description. Going to add the link watches, link to the page that we just created. So do that one. I'm not going to add a third option for this because I haven't got one. I haven't created one on my demo store. But we're going to click save on that one. So we've created that template. Then if we go back into our store, click on pages, we're going to add a new page and we're going to call this one accessories. And then from the template, we're going to choose the accessories template. Click on save. Then once again, into the navigation menu, main menu, and we're going to add an item. We're going to choose a page. As you can see, as I was saying before, if you're too quick with creating the page, then trying to add it to the navigation menu, it doesn't always add it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to refresh this page. When it refreshes, it's just come really slow for some reason. Click on add new item, see if the page has appeared, and there we go, accessories. So we're going to add that item to the menu. This menu is becoming really long. Click on save menu, 
go back into the front end of our site, hit refresh and you'll see accessories comes up. And then what you can do is click on that. Then you can click on signet rings and it'll take to the page we was just on. Or the other option is you can go into watches and it'll take you through to the watch page that we just created. So as you can see, it's so much easier to do. And another good thing as well is you can customize these templates. So if you wanted to say on the watch page, let's go in and customize the watch page template. Click on customize, bring up that template. So if we go into this, click on watches. If you wanted to add another block to this or another section, say if we just wanted to add an image with text, you can add that option. So you can create truly custom pages. You're not limited the way you were with the old setup. The new one gives you much more flexibility and much more ability to control the customization options. So you can create really, really good looking pages on your Shopify store. So that's how you can create a page of collections using the new Shopify OS 2.0. It is so much easier to do and basically anybody can do it. There's no need for copying and pasting code the way you used to with the old method that was really quite limited in what you could actually do. The new one is so much better. It's so much easier to create the pages of collections and also be able to create pages in front of those pages. So you can make a really good link structure on your Shopify store. So if you found this helpful, a like on the video would be absolutely awesome. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, you can do by buying me a coffee using the link in the description below. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you found it helpful. Stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next one.